Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, is committing to be climate neutral as of 2020. 800 million people are hungry on this planet. Most of them are farmers. They directly depend on natural resources. So for us at FAO, system-wide, it's a question of walking the talk that we reduce our own environmental footprint as good as we ever can. FAO started monitoring the ecological footprint of its facilities management, travel and fleet in 2008. Since then, it has reduced 29% of its greenhouse gas emissions. The attention to the environment should be at 360 degrees. So the FAO focuses its own activity in the field on environment protection and sustainability. We really believe and we really are convinced that also in the administration, in the management of the premises, for example, we should be environmentally sustainable and then create awareness in our staff about the importance of the protection of the environment. Many internal sustainability initiatives have been incorporated, both in decentralised offices and at the FAO headquarters. Here at headquarters, an environmental management system has been implemented and developed in order to improve FAO's environmental footprint. Several green projects have been implemented so far. In terms of energy efficiency, FAO headquarters has updated nearly all corridor lighting around the buildings with LED and sensor technology. Sensor lighting and hand dryers have been installed in the restrooms. Sustainability has also been integrated into the design of several FAO meeting rooms. Other interventions have also been undertaken to reduce the waste produced at FAO headquarters. Water fountains have been installed throughout headquarters to reduce bottle wastage. Water is also provided from thermoses during coffee breaks and receptions. All copy paper is certified and all multifunctional printers support recycled paper. What's more, many official documents and publications are made of sustainable printing materials and a number of conferences are becoming paper smart by encouraging meeting participants to print less. The local food bank City Chibo works with FAO caterers to collect unsold cooked food and distribute to people in need in the city of Rome on a daily basis. Whatever waste cannot be reduced is separated according to four categories. Paper, plastic and metal, organic and mixed waste. All FAO headquarter cups, even those seemingly made of plastic, are compostable and are disposed of as organic waste. All waste is collected in the waste centre and then transported to the disposal sites of the Rome Waste Management Company. In addition to the reduction of air travel emissions, I have allowed FAO to considerably reduce FAO's environmental impact. Moreover, in 2015, FAO offset its unavoidable emissions through adaptation fund projects. To be successful, all these initiatives need the essential participation of staff and guests from setting mild thermostat temperatures in winter and summer to turning off lights or other devices when not needed and reducing travel by teleconferencing more. Hi. Everyone can play their part. Hello. Small things, small change of habits. If we continue to do the same as we did until now, we will not be able to avoid this two degree increase. We need to change our personal habits. I think that this is a small contribution, but will help a lot. If everybody does something, we together can do a lot. Together, everyone's small action can have a greater impact for the organization and the planet. So join us in the FAO Headquarters Green Experience and help us to set an example by protecting the environment. Bye.